here's how we can use Google Bard to enhance our sequences of learning. We've given you this document here entitled Soul Prompts, Sequence of Learning Prompts. And within it, we've given you some text prompts. Now, text prompts are the instructions that we give to artificial intelligence tools such as Google Bard or ChatGPT. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use these to help us structure our input for our sequence of learning. Now, you've got your template in Google Drive, and if you need help working on your entries for the sequence of learning, this is where it could come in handy. So let's just say I'm working for week five, and I need to put in my lesson here. I'm going to go now to Google Bard, B-A-R-D. And in Google Bard, I'm going to put in my prompt, my instruction here. Now, we've written these prompts for you, so use them. They can help you structure it. Of course, you can adjust it as you see fit, but I think it's useful to start off using this one we've given you. So, I've written some content here about the lesson, some instructions, parameters, expectations, giving it a role. I'm asking it to behave as a teacher. I'm asking it to add a starter and a plenary and to reference British values and to use objectives that use Bloom's taxonomy. All the things that we want to include are here in this prompt. I've copied that from the word right all the way down to the speech mark after the word diversity. At this point, I'm gonna control and C or right click and copy. And then I'm gonna grab that and take it over to Bard. When you're signed into your Google account, as a staff member, you have Bard turned on. The students do not have Bard turned on, only staff. So I put a prompt into Bard here, and I'm going to now fill in the blanks. You see the square brackets here. I'm going to write a lesson plan about glucose. That is 90 minutes long, suitable for the level three health and social care ETEC course. The more granular and specific and nuanced, the better in your input. And it's clear for the 16 year old learners to understand. Focus on the following subtopics mm. uh, insulin, uh, glucose spikes, and diet advice for people who are pre diabetic. So quite specific there. You are a teacher of um, health and social care. Who's an expert in writing quality lessons. And here you can see I've given it a role. I've given it laser focus on what I'm asking it to do. There are billions of data points it is feeding from in this large language model the sum total of human written history. So it's a lot. So we need to focus it. And the way we focus it is by prepping the machine, giving it a prompt, giving it a role, tell it what it's doing, give it expectations, be specific and parameters. So what are the limits? Is it a table? Is it 400 words? Is it gonna be bullet points? This is something we're going to be learning over the next year or two. Prompt engineering, they call it. Right, that's my prompt. Suitably engineered. And that's been given to the machine. And it will hopefully generate for us an entry for our sequence of learning now. Okay, there we go. It's generated things for me. It's actually giving me an image of a blood glucose meter, which is a good addition there. It's giving me nice objectives. Okay. 
a nice intent, a purpose, a reason, a direction for the lesson. Nice starter activity using that image. Very good. Tasks. A plenary. This one relates to a diagram. I could ask it for the diagram here, should I wish to. Give me a plenary. It's giving me examples of English, maths and digital, British values and equality and diversity. Adaption. Not bad, right? What I can do at this point is go to modify my response and make it simpler, shorter, more professional or casual. I can give feedback as to whether I think it was a good response. I can check the veracity, the reliability by clicking on the searching on Google option. And here it will give me an option to see where the sources are from. I could at this point, if I wanted to, ask it for Harvard reference sources to be included, if appropriate. If I think, oh, that was a good one, actually, I'll, I'll share that with the team. I can click on share and export. And sure enough, I could share what I've just created. But I'm just going to copy it at this point by clicking on the three dots and going to copy. And I've grabbed that. I'm now going to go back to my sequence of learning template. And I'm going to paste in my lesson, which as you can see, follows the structure that we have asked for. Now, of course, here's where the critical consumption and human in the loop comes into play. You will edit, adjust, and be accountable for what is here. It may not be appropriate. You may have a wonderful sequence of learning you're happy with, in which case BARD can be used in other ways for alternative suggestions for activities, adapting learning, resources, and any number of different applications. But this column's complete now. Let's go back to our sole prompts. Impact is the second column. I'm going to grab this prompt, which has been pre-written, control and C, or right click and copy. I've copied from the N in now all the way down to the H in English. I'm going to go back to my bar page, which is open. And at this point, I'm going to follow what's been written, because the context is written there. So it will follow on that conversation like a chat. If I was to make a new chat at this point, it wouldn't know what to do because it hasn't got the previous context. I'm going to follow this wonderful output with my impact prompts, which will help me with this column here. And it will extract the KSBs, the knowledge, skills and behaviours of said lesson of examples and sub bullet points how i'm assessing or suggestions of how to assess the lesson we've created key learning points and adaptive approaches not bad so at this point again you've got the option to modify to Give it feedback, share with your peers if you think, oh, this was a good one. Double check the veracity, the quality, the critical thinking check. But that really should come from you, the human in the loop, to look through, to be skeptical, to adjust. I find it's useful to click on the three dots, copy. To put it into my impacts column, Control and V, or right click and paste. 
And at this point is where I do a lot of the editing. I can go through and adjust things, take them out, tweak them, enhance, reject, edit, co-design with the machine. There we go. I've got a perfectly good lesson. This is here to enhance our planning and our resource creation and to be a collaborator, an assistant, never a replacement for the human. It will help us and free us up to do the human part of the job that technology can never replace. The bit that's the most important, the bit we want you to focus your time and energy on. There we go. Your sequence of learning can be enhanced using this tool, BARD. There'll be lots more support and help on one-to-ones coming to help you use AI deliberately, intentionally, to free up human energy, to focus on the bits of the role that are most important. Administrative, procedural tasks are now, hopefully, going to be less onerous. Get in touch with the team, get in touch with me, if you'd like to delve a bit deeper, and we can delve a lot deeper. Okay, thank you very much for your time, and I will attach underneath the video the link to both the sole prompts and my calendar, so you can book me in. I'll show you what it looks like for some one-to-one -one help. So on my calendar, you will see that I've got this option just here, which is a booking page. You can click on any one of these and book in time for me to come and work with you at a time that suits you, online or in person. See you soon.